the sun go down over the same old town like so many times before we look at the same old stars battle the same old wars like so many times before and i know that we're not perfect
Hello, my inky friends. Hello, Heather. Hello, everyone. My phone just went off to tell me I have a stream. I'm so happy you reminded me, phone. Let's just put it on mute. How's everybody? Hello, Carol. Alicia was here like way early and got to watch the watch the pre-show. Um, real quick before I switch to my work table, you're gonna notice one of the webcams is gone. I had to go back to this webcam because I was just, I felt like I was living in a box. And when I do my recording and my voiceovers, I need this good quality head, uh, um, uh, webcam. But if you're tuning into the replay and you've skipped this far um, and you don't want to listen to all the jibber jabber and see all the cool things I've got here, then skip forward 10 minutes to the video that you clicked in on. If you're new here, hang out with us for 10 minutes because this is where the cool kids hang out for 10 minutes in the pre-show. And I say hi to you. So hello, Alicia, who is here first. <clears throat> Excuse me, Ruby and Chris. If you missed that 10 minutes, there's some really good music. I'll change it up every couple months or every season. I don't know, but I worked really hard on that for you guys. So it gives me a chance to sit here and get everything together for those 10 minutes. And I can read the chat a little bit and feel like I can kind of connect a little bit more with who's here because when I start talking and showing you guys stuff, the chat just kind of falls in the background. Thank God we have Heather here. Let's everybody give Heather a little clap because Heather is so consistent with being here on Thursdays for me. Heather, that you mean the world to me. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Well, you are very, very welcome. It's fun, and it's especially this week, it's a nice little break for me because I'm in the middle of moving. So... Yes, sucks. I, I should have like, oh, I could have put a GIF up. You know the one with the, the black and white one where she's running with all the stuff in the house? That would have been a cute one. I got the stream deck. I've got some fun GIFs and sounds for you guys. I also want to thank you guys as well for just showing up. I mean, just showing up. Thank you. Thank you for being here and watching the stream. Hello, Judy. And hello, Kimberly. She does rock. So with that being said... Let's flip over to here and I've got some stuff. I've got Chloe right here, as you can see, and I've also got a side cam here of Chloe. Um, when she gets into the work table, I'll flip it over every now and again. That's my, um, my side camera for when I'm doing my actual video videos. I have a whole new setup and you guys are going to see a lot of differences in my new videos, but I have some stuff I want to show you guys last night in the mixed media class inky besties will recognize this if you're an inky bestie and you haven't watched it um i was muted for about the first 30 minutes of the video so i went and cut some out didn't cut it all out but nevertheless all the more reason to uh show up on time but i know some people can't make it on time so nevertheless this is the card that we made and Tiffany Solorio actually made a card and I'm going to show you her card because this was the whole point to our mixed media night last night. Um, sometimes you see a card and you're like, how am I going to recreate that? So here's Tiffany's card right here. Let me open this up so you guys can see better. There you go. There's Tiffany's card right here. So the idea was to just kind of show how to, you can actually go in. Mine's a little darker, but you can go in and you can kind of get those same colors going, okay? So that was the whole point to it. And then we stamped on it. Um, we took some um, ephemera. They were stickers and um, some other little sticker things and some dyes and some splatters and that's what we made. So if you like mixed media, I'm gonna give you a little taste. I was making cards for today and international or national, excuse me, national mermaid day is coming up. And I was, I was toying between that and what I did choose for today, which you will see, but I started this. And as I was doing it, I found a new kind of technique and I want you to pay close attention to all these little dots, not the ones on my nails, but the ones here on the on the cardstock. And you see how it's so natural looking like bubbles for water? Check all of this out. So I'm gonna show you how to recreate that in next month's mixed media. And 
play, pay close attention here to these mermaid scales. These are millions of, well, I wouldn't say millions, tens of thousands. Maybe you could see if I show you this corner. No, it's kind of hard, but there, you can kind of see there. If you pause it and look real close, maybe pinch your screen and make it bigger. It's all little, 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 micro, tiny, itty bitty, teeny weeny, yellow polka dot bikini glass beads. And I'm going to reveal how to, how to get this, okay? How to use this. And no, it is not something that someone has just come out with in the card making world. If you know anything about me, you know I'm in the art world, right? So I like to show you guys how to pick things up and save money. Once the card making world gets a hold of that product, they're gonna put it in a tiny little bottle and charge you three times the amount. So thank you to Kimberly. Kimberly sent me a little package. So let me first go over the card. So I got a little thank you donkey. Isn't he so cute? On beautiful green paper. She knows I like the celery colors and these are kind of like the celery colors. So thank you, Kimberly. Um, she was thanking me for something I had sent her, but then she sends me this really cool, um, you can get this on Timu, I think, right, Kimberly, just so that people know where it's, they can get it. It's a silicone spoon. It's really flexible here. It's not flexible here. It's like there's metal in here. And then there's this other end on it. But you know what this is for? I actually had no idea. I was like, oh, cool. I got another spoon. But once she told me what it was for, I was like, OMG, I love it. This end is harder and you can clean out your little... Um, I don't know what you call that thing. The thing you melt your wax in, that metal bowl with the handle, this is to clean it out. And I was like, oh, brilliant. And Kimberly knows I love penguins, so I got a pocket penguin looking. He's so cute, right? And it says, here's a little hug while I can't be there. Put me in your pocket and take me everywhere. It's so cute. So I'm going to put the pocket penguin over here with all the other little gifts that I get from people. Thank you. And this little guy, I will certainly be using that. So this month's, um, I'll try it out is the Ayuli watercolors. I bought all of those little sample ones that came on the cards. The cards are somewhere. I didn't throw them out, but, um, Heather, I did. Let me rephrase. I didn't buy them all. Heather for Christmas got me this with an assortment. I just bought more. <laughs> And I did it in a, in, a, in a bestie event and then besties were buying them. But I am not affiliated with Ayuli. I don't have an affiliate link for her. But if you end up going to her Etsy shop or wherever, tell her my inky fingers. You saw her stuff on my inky fingers. That, I, that would mean a lot to me. And that would put me on her radar. But I am going to play with these in the I'll try it out and show you why on earth you would want any of these. I mean... There's so many, and I just put all the little dots in little pans so that they looked all pretty. Doesn't that look like so satisfyingly gorgeous? Where's the swatch sheet? Let me show you the swatch sheet. Hold on, because that is so we satisfying. We found out the case comes completely apart, so you almost yeah. Ends. Yes. So look at this swatch sheet. Is this not satisfying? I mean, come on. Some of the besties saw me start it. Um, I don't know how much of it I recorded. I don't even know if I can make a short out of it. But then there's these ones. And these ones are color changing or color shifting on the bottom. So they look one color one way and another color another way. It's really hard for me to showcase these with all of these lights. But that's the Ayuli watercolors. Now, I will say, if you follow her on Instagram, go follow her. Let me show you what her thing looks like so that you can... Um, save it really quick. You could pause this. There you, there you go. You could pause this and you could scan one of these on your phone or you could type in I-U-I-L-E like with the at sign. So at I-U-I-L-E. Follow her on Instagram. It is so satisfying to watch what she does on Instagram. The woman has got so much talent. Now I will say a full, a full set can run you upwards of $350 to $400. But if you just get them like, woo -hoo, like this, and then once you've used up one dot, now you know you like that color and you're going to use it. So then all you do 
is you just buy the half pan of that color. This one's empty. Well, it's not, but I'm pretending. And then you put the half pan in there and you've got a full one. You know what I mean? Like you buy a, a watercolor set and you don't use every single color. Now with the Iulis, I don't know. I'm probably going to go through. There's a lot I really like. There's some that are kind of questionable for me, but 90% of them I really, really like. So I'll really dive into that in the I'll try it out and give you my honest feedback on the ones I really, really like and the ones that, you know, I'm kind of unsure about. But I was at the dollar store today because I needed something and I found some more things. So this was at Dollarama and wait until you see what this is. This is stunning. And if you are from the US and you don't have a Dollarama, I'm so, 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 so sorry. Um, it is made by, Clo you're not going to believe this. <laughs> it's made by Chloe's Crafts, but they spelled Chloe wrong. They spelled Chloe with a C. We don't spell things the way they're supposed to be spelled here in the Inky Studio. I mean, if the Inky didn't give it away, but this was $2. I don't know what it is with their packs curling, but I really don't care because this was $2.50. Let me show you. Excuse me. I lied. $2.75 for foil paper. But wait, are you ready? Look at this. I can see. I can see. My, I can see clearly now. That is not a good view. <laughs> but anyway, it is beautiful mirrored paper. Now, hold on. You think that's nice. Just wait a second. So run to your dollar store. Don't walk. Run knock everybody over that's in your way because they only had I took three of these silvers I put two in my overflow drawer this one was the last one obviously because I think it's the best one I will be um stocking some dollaramas I could see Cheryl Lee going okay Daryl look at this and sending Daryl out um and if there's extras above what Cheryl Lee wants I will take them in this one Daryl because um, is Cheryl Lee here yet? Hello, Brenda. Because I know Cheryl I know. Lee will have Daryl out. So this one here has a brushed kind of metallic silver. And there are probably four of those. Two, three, two of those. And it comes with the silver again. I mean, that mirrored silver. The green. Oh, I just love this. The This one is like a dark turquoise green. It's kind of hard to convey the green on the screen with all these lights. I apologize. And then a brushed one. And then my favorite. I wish they had an entire one of this. This is like a teal. It is so beautiful. Now hold up. Because if you know, I, I believe this was even in my top stamping tools at one point. How awesome these are. I love them. Um, I should have actually bought an extra one for Todd because he's forever stealing those. But... They have the titanium edition at the Dollarama. Shut the front door. Look at these bad boys. They've got, I mean, hold up. Let's just take them out of here. At the Dollarama, five bucks. Okay, go to Amazon. These are worth at least 20 bucks Canadian. Let's just tear into it like a two-year-old. Oh my gosh. They are Fiskars. They're not a knockoff. Ooh, ooh, ah, he. There we go. Fiskars. And it has a little guard. So I was super stoked about those. Anyway, that was a dollar round. So with that being said, am I at my 10 minutes yet? <gasps> I'm one minute over. I have to really talk fast. Okay, we just had a class. We have two more classes. We have the cricket class coming up. There's the birthday card. And we have the Susan Tierney class next week. You get this whole kit and me instruction live and a replay if you want to watch it or you come to the class live. Last thing I want to show you guys is this. OMG. Okay, let's zoom out because this you have to see. I showed the besties this last night. Okay, so here is my paper and here, do you see this? It's this clear acrylic thing. So it looks like this. It's like, I don't know. I'm, what did we determine? It was 3 16 thick, something like that. But check this out. See this angle? This is for, I watched this girl on YouTube, Brittany Vassar, V-A-S-S-E-U-R. Um, I've been watching her for years and years and years. She picked this up and recommended it. Uh, it's a cutting board for your counter. 
but it'll only work if you have a straight edge. Let me go in here, a straight edge counter, not a rounded counter. And I was like, hold on, all my counters downstairs are all straight edge. So this fits perfectly right over top of my grid mat and I love it. So let's zoom back in. And <clears throat> now I can take the little thingy that, cause if you don't have a glass mat, then all you need to do is pick up these things and this will sit right here. Bomb. And now I can do my thing. So today we are doing, let me give you what we're doing today. We are doing, now this is the thing. Okay, so for today, what I wanted to do was not just do the national holiday. Let me tell you what it is. It's national peanut butter and jelly day. Um, I'm going to have to ask Heather to Google what day that is because I didn't write it down. I thought I did. And I went and got my sheet to tell you what day it was, but we're not going to make a peanut butter and jelly card. Let me tell you that much. But what we are going to do, let's put this card up here from Kimberly. What we are going to do is we're going to think about the colors of peanut butter and jelly. And I have a little, I have a little, um, a little short, um, Chloe saw the peanut butter and jelly on the tea on the laptop here let me show you guys this is so hilarious she saw it on the laptop and i took i don't know how many um oh looks like i missed it but okay so here she's looking hold on now she's looking at the tv i have to tell you a story about her tonight but she was looking at the peanut butter and jelly oh that was the tv one here this one so I'm going to show you her. She's staring at, I say TV, but it was my laptop. She's staring at my laptop because I've got the peanut butter and jelly day up on the screen. Is that not hilarious? She's just staring at the peanut butter and jelly. I'm going to tell you a story about her tonight. She is on phone timeout. Um, you're, you're not going to believe this story, but tonight, what I thought we would do is turn this around and use the national peanut butter and jelly day to make a masculine card and we're going to take the colors of peanut butter and jelly and we're going to use that as inspiration so rather than just make i gotta turn my fan on rather than just make a peanut butter and jelly card i one of the one of the most common questions i get from you guys is what do you do when you're not feeling inspired well, I just don't work, <laughs> but you know, that doesn't always work. Right. But what, honestly, let's be honest. So when you're not feeling inspired, inspiration comes from so, so, so many different places. So Google national quirky holidays and kind of start scrolling through them and see if it triggers something for you. So it triggered for me how to show you guys how to take something and turn it completely around and the end result does not have anything well it has everything to do with peanut butter and jelly because it's the colors but you are going to make a magnificent card with with peanut butter and jelly theme how about that okay so um you can do this with i'm going to suggest the colors and i'm going to show you what it looks like in oxide i've already made one but i kind of like how it comes out in the um, inks and I don't have scattered straw. So I'm going to show you how I kind of combated that because this looks like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Like if, if this was our bread, I don't know if you like brown bread, but you know, I'm just pretending this was our bread. This is our peanut butter and this is our jam. Okay. So there's our inspiration, peanut butter and jelly. So where do we go from here? I've got a piece of Canson watercolor paper. I'm going to open up my distress inks and, um, because I don't, I, if you're using distress inks, um, use brush corduroy here, uh, just because it blends in with the fossilized ember to make, it's still yellow, but you know what? We're peanut butter and jelly inspired, right? And then we got our jelly here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my lightest color first, cause that's going to go across the middle and let me bring this a little bit more over so you can see exactly what I do. And this is where that technique 
was born today in in this one this is where this was born because i was gonna do mermaid day i was gonna i did both and i wanted to see which one and this still isn't quite dry but um that's where this technique was born today doing this here and i was like whoa oh that's do you see that i'm like a pro i played basketball with that that was a great catch did you just sniff this do you have like a fossilized ember nose and look at this one She's just sleeping here. Let me turn this a little bit. You guys don't want to see me and my my grapefruit juice. She's just passed right out. But Miss Miss Sally is really inquisitive. I can't run three um I was gonna say laptops, three webcams on my la laptop. So I was using my laptop's webcam for me and my webcam for Chloe and Chloe's webcam for Sally. And yeah, anyway, it, it, things just had to change. So I'm wetting both sides of my paper so that it doesn't curl quite as bad. And I'm going to kind of bend it like this, okay, because I want most of the color in this area, okay? So I'm going to just kind of move it around there and then kind of look at what I got. And that's kind of good because I want most of the color on the in middle of my card. So I'm going to get out my heat it tool and I forgot to put this in the link for you guys sorry it was underneath the table everything else was here and it was easy for me um, we're actually gonna foil on this card too even though it's a masculine card it goes really really well and I got some Timu dies and I'm gonna show you what I'm doing with this Timu dies and it's really funny because I just got a Timu order and the besties saw it and <laughs> I don't know probably at least two of them were like oh I got that one I got that one or was that the day that I was organizing them? That was the day I was organizing them. Mary was there and Kathy was there. Hello, Cheryl and Lee. We didn't see you last night, Lee and Karen. I was laughing with with, um, with Heather and I said, if Karen doesn't come, Lee doesn't come and, and Dana doesn't come, it's like, you know, they follow the leader. So Karen, it's all your fault. We're blaming you. <laughs> and Brenda, hello. Oh, and Karen got her watercolors. Oh, and you did get the little pots on Amazon. Yeah, and actually, um, I don't know how to say her name, Ayuli, whatever, but she actually suggested I get them on Amazon. So I was like, okay. So I'm going to leave that like that, and I'm going to bring in my brush corduroy and wet it. And now I'm going to mix those two together. Okay. I don't like doing it with my fingers. <laughs> I like doing it with my, with my, with my little dude here. So let me wet that up again, and I'm just going to go over top of it now to kind of get more of a peanut butter color rather than such a yellow color, like this. And now this is the process, of course, right? There's a lot of drying involved. So I'm going to tell you a story, story time while I kind of just dab into colors and do this, that, and the other. I was um, in Zoom chat with Kimberly, as a matter of fact, and not Zoom, it's, it's Google Meet, but I was chatting with Kimberly, and I was telling her that um, Chloe loves Beverly Hills Chihuahua. And I said, I put it on one day, and Gizmo... Everybody remember, well, not everybody, some people, some of you will remember Gizmo, my pug. Gizmo used to love barking at the TV. And he, if you've ever seen a pug watch TV, he would bark at the TV. He would run around the corner of the room to the other room behind, thinking what he saw on the TV was in that room. And he would just go nuts, right? Because of the dogs on the TV. Did it with any animal. So I think I put it on to see kind of what Chloe would do, but it's really heartwarming for me to remember those memories of Giz, you know? So anyway, I was in my lazy boy and Chloe was at the, at my feet and I was kind of mystified by what I saw. Chloe, Chloe, I have to preface this. Chloe is a very inquisitive and curious dog. If something moves, she has to investigate. Like, you guys remember the, the stage when she went through finding her own reflection? 
I mean, she was obsessed with glass and mirrors. She would paw at them and go crazy to the point where I bought one of those red laser lights to distract her. She, that's kind of worn off. She does still get a little enamored with her own reflection from time to time. But I was absolutely blown away. And I'm telling Kimberly, I said I was blown away when I put on Beverly Hills Chihuahua and this dog did not move for an hour and a half from my feet staring at the TV. And I mean, I don't, I don't know. I'm not exaggerating. She did not fall asleep. She did not go get a drink. Like she stuck with that show the whole movie. And when it was over, it was over. But I was like, I'll never forget it. And I said, actually, I'm going to put it on. And I put it on the TV. And she sat here and she was looking up over there at the TV on the ceiling. So it was just so cute to see her doing this. And then I was like, well, why don't I just put it right here on my phone? Because, you know, I've got this big screen and I'll stick it right here on this little stand, put it right here at her little bed for her. Well, that was it. I had Kimberly was giggling like we were laughing because she was just loving this, having this Beverly Hills Chihuahua right there where, you know, she's right there watching it. And she'd paw a little bit at the phone. And I would tell her no. And, you know, she'd flip it off her movie. And I'm like, see what happens. You can't do that. Rah, rah, rah. Anyway, long story short, two and a half movies later, I'm like, okay, it's time. And, and <laughs> I have to tell you, too. I think the only reason that I really put it on was because it was more of a, okay, she's getting bored. So, you know, I gave her a chew, a chew to eat. Because she was up here for quite a few hours. I spent the whole day here. And then after the chew, it was like, okay, she's getting bored. What am I going to do with her? And I could, that's why I put the movie on. I was, tell me you're not a mom that's never given your kids food or TV to, like, be quiet and leave you alone for a few minutes, right? Tell me I'm not alone. What's that, Heather? Give me some peace. Exactly. Give me some peace. So I turned it off after two and a half because she had to go potty. Todd came down to get them and off they went. I turned the movie off. Well, let me tell you what's happened. She goes out to go potty and the door opened and I could hear her and she ran straight for the stairs, came straight down here, came straight to the table and started barking at me to let her up here because she wants to watch her movie. And this is not an exaggeration. Okay. This is legit how this went down. So, I let her up here to watch her movie. So she finishes her three times watching her movie and it's dinner time now. So we all go upstairs for dinner time and Chloe decides, well, I'm done dinner. I'm, I want to go watch my movie. So she came downstairs. You got to see how she is now. Like she's all the way over here on my work table. But anyway, she came down here and she started barking again because let's go. It's time for me to watch my movie. And we're upstairs having dinner at the table and she's down here barking because she wants on the table to watch her movie. And I was like, oh my God, I've created a monster. So anyway, I thought, okay, I'll let you watch your movie. But every time my phone went off and I needed to like look at an email or answer a text, she got so mad at me and she would be like, you know, getting all upset. And I'm like, you're a dog. <laughs> like, I'm the boss, not you. You're the dog. Like, what are you doing? You know what I mean? I had to actually put her on telephone timeout because it just was getting to be too much. Every time she saw my phone, she was getting out of her mind. She just wanted this Beverly Hills Chihuahua. And you know what's really funny? I didn't know. I didn't know or I didn't realize the dog's name in Beverly Hills Chihuahua. Does anybody know the dog's name in Beverly Hills Chihuahua? Let's see if somebody can type it out. See if you guys know the dog's name. But I was like, I didn't know that was the dog's name. Because that was a movie for Gizmo. And I never really, I don't think Gizmo ever watched the whole entire movie. I wish I had this in a, in a, in a ink. Let me see. Oh, I do. Okay, this is better. Then keep using mine. You can use either or. But I need a little bit more... I want a little thicker here down at the bottom. I just want it to be a little bit more like, yeah, like that. 
someone's crawling a little closer. I see this dog just getting in here. This is what she's been doing. She did this all last night, and I was like, okay, Chloe, this cannot happen tomorrow, or you're going to have to go somewhere else. But And you can't see he here. She's literally right here. But if I do this, you can see a paw the yeah, camera. you can see how far she's like squished over here, right? So a little sneaker. Okay, so I tried to get enough in there to get rid of, it kind of still looks yellow, but let's get a little bit over here like that because I had a big white spot. <laughs> And I love having this acrylic here. This is awesome. And it's such easy cleanup. And last night I had embossing powder all over it. And it was nice because I didn't have to worry about a whole bunch of gunk everywhere. And I just sopped up or swept up the embossing powder and put it back in the embossing powder holder. So I guess I have to put that in her bed because she's right here in my business, Miss Chloe. All right. I hate to say goodbye to you because I just put you there and I kind of went overboard. I didn't really need that much. I did order some of these and they're in the store um, up at, uh, up at um, Scrap and Dippity. So I will let you know um, what they cost me and how many are in the pack. I'm sure you can find them online. But to go with this acrylic mat, it's like 20 bucks this mat, by the way, if you're curious. Um, and the link is down below. I think I put the, the mat at the top for you guys because I figured that was going to be the thing everybody wanted to see. And I do have some other news. We do. Everybody keeps asking me what this is and where did I get it? And um, I'm going to tell you really quick. Heather's mom, I got this out of her, uh, her craft room after um, her dad passed away. I actually got quite a few of them, but everybody always asks me, and when I have a whole bunch on my table and I use them for water, paint water, everybody's always asking me, where'd you get those? Where'd you get those? And it's nice because they have a plastic label and it's just raspberry jam. So I actually went on, on Amazon to link you guys the, the, the little cute little bottles with the jam and they didn't have any. So we've got some Mayanki Fingers ones in production. So if you really want one, then they're coming, okay? So just hang tight. Watch for those. All right. Now I got this one over here sniffing in too because that one's sniffing in. And she's going to learn to not be afraid of water here if she keeps hanging out because she's getting some of the spray, but it's not seeming to bother her. And showing her a water bottle to get her to do what I want her to do is the only way sometimes to make her behave. So... Hello. where's my paper towel is this the one I was using I guess okay let's let this go this way while we dry it and I like to um, when it pools on the edges like this right here I like to let the paper towel pick that up because I don't like those harsh lines on the edges of my stuff so we'll go in and get some more red there we go and just let it be kind of organic and we'll work on our red so that do I, I have lumberjack in a reinker too I do because that one I get the I get the whole set now and I've been doing that for about three years now so any that came out in the last three years that are a whole set like the whole gamut I have <laughs> Chloe her nose is right up here now. At least she's a good dog. I mean, she really needs to be careful. She just has to be. And when she sleeps, it's right here. She is right on my chest. So, like, she's just. It's COVID. You work from home. You're with your animals all the time. Todd's home 24 7. Our animals are very codependent. So, tell me if you have codependent dogs. Or partners <laughs> okay Chloe you're, you're you're we're getting a little bit too close now you got to back off all right now I don't think I want to spray that but I do want some more I do want some more in here and we'll 
go a couple more times to get a little bit. There we go. That's what I was looking for. All right. And I'll probably stop there. But maybe not. Who knows? So we are, you see the peanut butter and jelly inspiration now? Chloe with a K. And I was doing her stocking at Christmas two years ago. I wasn't gonna yeah, well, here we go. So I'm doing her stocking, and uh, I get it all pressed on with the awesome HTV press I have. I still love that machine. If anybody's curious and saw that video two years ago, I still love it, and it's still in my studio. It's the only thing I use, even for little projects. But anyway, I get it on there, and uh, Heather goes, how do you spell Chloe? And I'm like, K-L-H-O-E. She goes, why does the stocking say K-hole? <laughs> Family channel. I was like, dang. I was really upset about that. I was like, what the hey? Ugh, K-hole. And it's really funny because when I was in Cuba, Todd was messaging me about the dogs. And uh, he said K-hole. So, nevertheless, I have tonight my little... Barbie bed. I'm a Barbie girl in the Barbie world. I couldn't help myself. My little Barbie bed. And when I was, I, I was thinking about my Barbie bed because when I got this, it's the pink and main mini mink. But check this out. I mean, I should go run and grab one of my Barbies. It looks like a Barbie tanning bed, right? Does it not look like a little Barbie tanning bed? Totally. I mean, if I was a kid and this thing came around, I'd be like, that's my Barbie tanning bed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this through here a few times. And I um, didn't do this the other night and I thought, ooh, I thought about it today and I thought I need to do that because if anything is wet on here, you don't want it to transfer to your rollers inside your machine. Did I turn, oh, I'm going to turn on the highest setting. You don't want the ink transferring to your rollers. And also another thing I noticed is if you pull this out of a uh, gummed pad, and there's any gum on here, the gum will melt in there too. So um, just put it through a piece of whatever. I don't even know what this is. I don't even know what this is. Some kind of cheap kind of vellum stuff. I don't even know. It's a piece of vellum would work. Um, copy paper will work, what have you. It's not super um, warped or anything, but I want to dry it. Um, because if you want to emboss on it <clears throat> or do any kind of anything to it that entails it being dry, this is a really good extra thing you can do. Now, if you have a uh, glimmer machine and you're not in a hurry, you can turn your glimmer machine on and set it on there. Um, if you walk away, don't worry about it. It's not going to catch fire. The glimmer machine is going to turn itself off. And your glimmer machine will never be hot enough for it to catch fire or anything like that. But keep in mind that if you walk away, it will eventually turn itself off. And then, I don't know if it's dry, but if you're in the room, then you can just kind of turn it back on, right? So I did emboss on this one, and there was quite a bit of embossing. And just a quick tip for you, <clears throat> if you want to know if it's dry, just don't put your um, Versa mark or anything on it. Just take your embossing powder and when it's just a regular piece of paper, and I'm going to show you actually right now what the distress, distress ox, oh, it was a bu I'm like, what was that sound? It was this thing telling me it's hot and ready to go. Um, I'm going to show you what the distress oxide version of this looks like right now, which is this. Okay, so if you like a more pillowy, dreamy, I'm backwards, um, milky, oxidized type background then that's what you got there but all you need to do is go and put your embossing powder on it and if it comes like all off then you know you're good to go I'll do it on the red side because this is completely dry right so you just go like this and it all comes off so you know you're good to go right so just a little tip if you want to know if it's dry enough and I did spill a little tiny bit here, so I'm going to wipe that off of my awesome... You're going to see this acrylic mat here 24-7. I love this thing. It is so awesome. Okay, I think we're good here now. So I'm just going to put this to the side for a moment 
while we do our sentiment. So for our sentiment, I was thinking, okay, it's peanut butter and jelly day, right? It's peanut butter and jelly inspired. So maybe you have somebody in mind that likes peanut butter and jelly. I don't know. But what kind of sentiment might we have? And I, I had to search high and low. And I tried to find something that was current so that you guys aren't like, oh, I don't have that stamp set. And I was retired. And I found a My Favorite Things stamp set. And we all know My Favorite Things rotates their stuff really quickly. So this one is in called Coffee Order. And it's We Are the Perfect Blend. I thought, how perfect for peanut butter and jelly. So do you see where we're going here with this, like how to get inspired to make cards, like what to do when you're feeling stuck, you know, and you're feeling like you're in a rut. So sometimes it could be pulling out a sentiment set. And I mean, if you're not into coffee, then this wouldn't be the one to pull out. But, you know, I hope you perk up soon. Maybe that might initiate something in your mind that has nothing to do with coffee. I mean, oh, where's that card? Where's that card? My, okay, hold on. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what it inspired me to do. I'm gonna see if the card is right here. Hold on, this is the funniest card ever. I hope it's here. Uh, you know that my, looks like um, of mustard. Simon and Wilma? Where is that card? Oh, Simon and Wilma. Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. <laughs> So this is one of my digital stamps from my old, back in the day, I had a digital stamp business. This is actually on my website because I've showed you guys this before, but, and this was not planned Bible. I just thought, I saw this and thought, I hope you perk up soon. That would be a really good sentiment on here. <laughs> I'm sorry. It would be, <coughs> excuse me. I'm almost over whatever it is that I have, thank God. But anyway, so pull out a sentiment set. Pull out a sassy sentiment set. Um, International Liars Day is coming up. So, you know, there's some funny sassy sentiments at My Favorite Things, um, the sassy birthdays. Like, you know, um, what was the one about you being younger, one year younger than I am or something like that? Or, you know, happy birthday to my 29-year-old friend from your 110 pound friend type thing. But anyway, we're going to use the We Are the Perfect Blend today. And we're going to do some fun things with this background with some Timu stamp or dies and some glimmer because even though it's a masculine card, it still has to satisfy you, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to pull out and I didn't link it for you, sorry, but I'm going to pull out a piece of recollections the heavy cardstock, um, 110 or 100, I don't know, it's pretty heavy because I want a sentiment and I want to put dimensionals under it. And I don't want to use the 65 pound because it's kind of floppy, like Simon, Family Channel. <laughs> so I'm going to use the thick stuff and I'm going to emboss with Versafine that I already have out right here and gold. And don't ask me what gold this is because I just kind of dumped all my golds into here. So, oh, I hit the wrong one. There we go. Hey, we had a scene change. So there we go. That's always good for your mental mind, right? But I don't know what gold this is, so I didn't link it because I have so many golds in here that I just poured them all in there one day because I just had too many and it was too hard to decide which one I wanted to use. So... I'm going to have to show you the dies and cut this before we put our sentiment on here because there's a reason. So I forgot a step. So let's do this. How I cut these, I have a piece of acetate and it's cut to a card front side. Size four by five and four by five and a quarter. So what I do, <coughs> excuse me, is bring out my trimmer. And I kind of move this around to where I want it. And I know that I want, because up here I got a little bit of a, a strong red line. I want that gone. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. And I'm going to use the bottom of this trimmer because it's got that lip. So when you bring your arm down, you know how your paper kind of shifts and you're like, ah, and then you got to recut it. 
go to the bottom. If you have any paper trimmer that has one of these little lips at the bottom, use that because it can't possibly push your paper because it's right against there. So you get the perfect cut and save these, save them. I will show, I've showed you guys a million times. I have a little basket. They're all in there. Imagine when you're feeling you know, like you're in a rut and you don't know what to do. Oh yeah, Cindy Lynn said to save these. I've been saving them. Let me grab a white piece of paper and start sticking all of these different things on there. I mean, you know, see where that takes you, right? So what do you do when you're in a rut? Watch, what is this called? Oh yeah, fundraisers make cards. <laughs> I'm like, what is the name of this show? <laughs> fundraisers make cards. Words are hard. I had a mental moment there. All right, so I want I want to take this off because I wiped my finger there. So I think I'm just gonna go right over to this side, and just go to four because I like all of this. So I'm just gonna go to four, right there, and I need to take off very little so I'll go to the bottom because it's there's not a lot of interest on the bottom it's pretty solid and then this one I'm gonna cut this one more time I kind of want I'm gonna cut it the width of this silver blade no you can't eat that honey she says Sally's trying to eat this I'm just gonna hold it here and I take the guard off of mine as you can see so be careful but this I want that for something did anybody um guess the dog's name in beverly hills chihuahua yes kimberly did she oh had oh and then, uh, Alicia did. oh okay yeah it, it was chloe and i was like and it's really funny because sometimes in the movie they're like chloe 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 and it's not me doing it it's someone else and she's like looking around like is somebody calling me what's going on so here now what we're gonna do is i got these really cool little this is, uh, I think there were three in the set, but these are the two I pulled out. I think there was three. There was one in the middle, but they're kind of like um, exposed brick, if you will. So I thought this would kind of be fun. So um, let's expose the black in the back, which is going to be our, oh, I got to trim this. Memento por favor. Just a second here. So let's trim this to four and one eighth by five and three eighths. And do I save these? Of course I do. And some of you know, you've seen me pull them out. So we're gonna put this here and I'm going to do this one a little different than I did the other one, just to show you a different variation. Cause I have one of these cards. And one of you guys are going to get this card tonight. Peanut butter and jelly. And, you know, it's kind of suiting because we go together like the perfect pair, right? So, you know, inky fingers and inky friends. So I'm going to put this one up in this corner. Just kind of make sure it's straight. And this one I'm going to put here because I'm going to do... No, I can't because it goes on here. Okay, so I'm going to do my sentiment on this paper rather than waste a whole nother sheet. And my sentiment is already in my stamp positioner. So I know that my sentiment can go in this area right here. Okay, so I'm going to pull it out. And if you need to, just kind of lay this here and get your sentiment out. Excuse Excuse me, Chloe. I'm like squishing her head right here underneath the door. So I'm going to get the sentiment out. I'm and disturbing you. I know, right? Don't mind me. It's not like we're live or anything here, dog. And what are you trying to do? <laughs> no, you get in your bed and you leave those alone, Missy. Okay. Oh, that's why that came off. It stuck to my magnet, hey? So this one is going to go somewhere over here. So this we know we have to put up in this area. So let's, it doesn't have to be straight or anything either because we're going to cut it out. And how are we going to cut it out? Because this is exposed behind here. Well, I'll let you think about that while I emboss it because I know that you're going to figure it out. And I am up next doing my embossing video. 
I actually mapped out everything all over again because I lost my paperwork for it and I cannot wait. I did link this tool, but I don't know that that's going to be my favorite destatification device, anti anti static anti mad anti anti magic statter pool. I don't know if it's going to be my favorite or not, so we'll have to wait and see. But I'm going to use my Versamark here and dab that so there. While you're doing that, yeah. I know Brenda said that they couldn't hear me very well. Oh, well, speak louder. Screen, so I, I'm going to try and speak louder. Is just want to remind everybody while you're doing that, you commented about giving away the card. The only way you can get the card is if you are subscribed so you can chat. Because it will be a question that will be asked in the stream. And the first person to get it right wins the card. So please make sure ahead of time you are subscribed to the channel. Hit that notification button too because you're going to want to catch us every time we're live. Because who wouldn't want to hang out with us? <laughs> and when a regular awesome. video goes up too, right Heather? Any video. Or any video, they'll get any notified. Video, yes. 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 Any video out there, and it's because who, who wouldn't want to watch us? We're awesome. Just awesome. Ask me. I'll tell you. Oh, at least one of us. I mean, there's no vanity in this friendship. She has it all. Exactly. <laughs> so, but yeah, just wanted to make sure to throw it out there ahead before the question gets asked, before you get the chance to comment. You must be subscribed. Make sure you're on live chat, not live chat, so that it's coming in correctly. And now you can go ahead and put your machine on. Okay. Because I'm like, nobody can hear you when this goes on. Hey, there's a thought. I got hitchhikers. Yeah, exactly. I got hitchhikers too. I got something on my screen here and can't read the chat. I can't see what Angie's saying. Why does it keep doing this? Oh, there we go. Oh, because there's a message retracted. Okay, it keeps popping up. Yeah, I think uh, that, Angie had written that it looked like ketchup and mustard. Oh, I was, I was going to say, maybe she retracted it when I said this is a family channel. <laughs> maybe. She's like, oh yeah, it's a family channel. Oops. Teasing. I'm teasing you, Andy. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a silicone, well, I don't know what this is. It's a self-healing mat, not silicone mat. And I'm going to pull out a craft knife. And I'm just going to further than where I need, but not too far because, remember, we want to expose this. Oh, this is kind of looking like a pocket. If I had this perfectly straight. This would have looked like a pocket. <laughs> Didn't even mean for that to happen. Don't make me pull out my scissors, mister. I don't go all the way through is my problem. Yeah, Dollarama. They have some good deals. I could see Kimberly and, 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 and Brenda and Mary heading out to the Dollarama. Some of my other Canadian girls heading out to the Dollarama. There's Dana. I got home late. And then time got away from me. Yeah, that happens to me all the time. Okay, so now I'm going to cut this out by hand. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I just ordered a second pair of these. And as a matter of fact, Kimberly wants a pair. So um, <clears throat> it's really a struggle to order from the United States to Canada because of all the duties and taxes. So I told her I would send her mine. And I'll get another pair when I get another pair. And that didn't get fully embossed there. Let me just get this out. Ooh. I didn't get the E all the way. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up and I'm just going to go kind of around corner, straight across. Actually, you know what I'll do? Well, that's not a very good zoom. I'll have to fix that zoom. Zoom in for you. And then I'm going to round this corner. And I'm going to come straight down. And I'm going to round again, but I'm going to go up around the P. And then when I get here, I'm just going to make some waves. You don't even have to match the letters. Just make them wavy. 
come down, go round your P. And if you struggle with cutting black with black on black, and it's just a struggle, um, douse it in your anti-static powder. powder. Yeah, and then afterward, um, here, I'll show you what I mean. Let me take this off. Just douse it in this to make it gray, okay? And now it's a little easier to see for cutting. And then I'm going to show you how to take all of that off when you're done. It's a really easy, easy trick. So now I'm just going to do waves again. I'll try to kind of follow the, the, the handwriting just because it's a little easier now, but I'm just going to make little waves, moving the paper, rounding my corner, coming up and then meeting that other corner round. And then this is what I'm left with here. Okay, so um, it's a little bit gray because of all the powder I put on there. So I'll show you how to fix that. I just wanna dust all of this off because this, now I got you over here. I mean, can you guys see what I'm, oh, you can't see her over there. I don't know if I can get this one here. Yeah, I got them. I it's got, I'm unusual like, from Sally. it is like very unusual bed. for her to be all up in my business here. Okay, let's throw those in the garbage, put these away. At le You know, having the dogs here does keep me on my toes with making sure I put stuff away because I don't know what's going to get eaten. So I showed you guys how to make iridescent medium with um, heat protectant spray. And you could just use water here if you wanted to. Water will work the exact same way. But I'm going to do this because everybody can use a little sparkle in their life. Make sure you flip it over and do the back as well. Why? Because it won't curl on you. So we'll take this. We'll wipe that. We'll flip it over. We'll wipe that side. Wipe this all down. Because we have this acrylic table here now that we can just... If we can just do these things. We don't have to worry. And look at this. It cleans up with a dang paper towel. And I got some glue on it and it came off with my undo. No problem. Let's go back to that screen. So we'll just wipe it off and we'll stick it to the side and let it dry. So now we can see. And if you want your little work, excuse me, that's not for you. <laughs> she stole my cloth. You can flip this over just to make sure that no, you can't see your dye through it. <laughs> I was going to say, you can flip it over. Make sure you don't see your dye. Because if you see your dye... You yeah. I don't know where that came from. That was, It was a good idea. I mean, you know, I was like, I could just make sure that... I mean, you can feel it, though, if you're really worried about it. You'll be fine. And now here, you could actually even just double check, like that your little sentiment is going to fit nice tuck right into here. And I'm kind of happy with that. So that's how they're going to go. And one second, I got an itch here in my eye. And I'm so stuffy. Oh, and we still have to um, foil. So let's turn our foiling machine on. And I'll show you what we're going to foil on here too. I could have foiled it first and then die cut it, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. I foiled, I foiled it first the last time, but this time it doesn't matter. I'm going to do it this way first. Alrighty. So when it comes to dyes on Timu, oh, you're kind of on your own. I mean, and if, let me tell you, if you see a dye or you see something you like on Timu, you better get it right then and there because it's like the damn home sense or dollar store when i go back i get my order and i go back to get the pictures so i can put them in my book and catalog they're gone like they're not even for sale anymore i'm like what the heck stuff just comes and goes so quickly around here let me go back over there so i'm trying to see i do have one more little thing you guys are going to get to see tonight i got all kinds of little gifts and stuff set up on the stream deck so that we can have some funnies and stuff like the little barbie girl i was like as soon as i said the 
Barbie bed. I was thinking about my Barbie tanning bed. I'm like, oh yeah, I got to do the Barbie song. I got to be really careful with that because I can't play too much of it. I can get a copyright strike. I might even still get one, even though I played like five seconds of it. Because it could be copyright music. I don't know. I, I can have Melanie sing it for you and you can record it. Oh, that. there we go. That'd be perfect, right? So I will say when you when you die cut on watercolor paper, you do run the risk of the print of the dye showing up on your paper, which happened here. I'm not going to bother trying to show you. Um, one of you will see because you'll get this card. But I mean, it's so minute. It's just thicker paper, right? This is 140 pound. So it's a lot thicker than what we're normally used to die cutting on. But check this out. Look at that. Is that not just like I mean, we started with National Peanut Butter and Jelly Day, and look where we're going with this. So cool, right? And, you know, I didn't splatter the other one, but I feel like, well, let's do, let's do our, let's do our um, foiling first, because I got a little bit of everything in here for everybody. So if you don't foil, don't worry, because we'll do a gold splatter as well, okay? So... You'll see both. And I'll send this card to the winner so that... Oh, I'm going to send Brenda her card now, too. It just occurred to me. I'll send your card tomorrow, Brenda, because I had to take pictures of it, right? And I couldn't finish it. That's what it was. Oh, and I meant to show you guys, too. I don't think I showed you last week. Um, let me get it. Let me get it. Because last week, I remembered I didn't show you what I was supposed to show you, which is... The result of the card, where did it go? Oh no. I mean, maybe I already mailed it to her. I think I already mailed it to her. <laughs> Brenda, did you get your card? I think I already mailed it. It's if, if I didn't mail it, it would be over there and it's not there. So I mailed it. Anyhow, moving on to our foiling. Splatter sentiments. These are, um, Yana designed these actually for Spellbinders. And I like these guys. And I just kind of laid them in a way. And I'll show you how I did it. So we'll just take them apart. I just lay them down so that they kind of go across the peanut butter. So that kind of goes there. This one. Let's put this one here. Is just, that close to your sentiment? Yep. But they're little. And then we'll just come in with a piece of tape. And this one I'll save. So, oops, no, nope, this one has to go here to hold that one. That wasn't very good. Let's try that again. I need a bigger piece. I'm going to steal you from here. There we go. Now, if you've ever foiled with tape, you know that if you have tape and it touches your foil, it transfers the foil to your paper. This perfectly magical, awesome, the best ever craft tape is just that. This is definitely making my top, whatever, however. I have so many tops, I don't even know how many are gonna be in that video. But, oh, and I already have a, I already have a foil out. I went into my scrap, my scrap um, box, and I had this color, so we'll be splattering a copper. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this to be the size that I need. And I'm just going to feel and put my fingers where the dies end and cut this straight across. Uh, oh, there's a die there too. Good thing I looked again there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is lift this up. Because it's not going to be 100% perfect because I can't see through it. But I can kind of gauge, you know what I mean? So let's just go, you know, maybe actually what I could do, hold on, I have another idea. Let's do this. Let's take this off of here so we have less tape. Okay, we'll cut it because you're being a problem. And what I'll do is bring this back even more to there, put you across there. Okay, you guys are connected but there's not so much tape. So let's take, 
I'm going to give you a way to make this easier. Because for me, you know, I, I'm not worried about it. But I could see you guys going, that looks really hard. So I'm going to hinge this. I just gonna make sure your sentiment you were putting down low that you might hide that one. Yeah, minute. we'll be okay. You moved it. You moved a it little up. bit. It was down further. You yeah, down. it'll hide it a little bit probably. Oh, I thought I still had tape on me. Oh, I do. Wrong finger. Okay, we'll just put you over there. So now I can lift this up, and as long as I just let it fall, and that's the trick to the hinges. Just let it fall. Don't overthink it. It'll it'll naturally go back to where you hinged it. So I'm going to lay this here and I'm just going to let it fall. Okay. And pull it up a little in a little there. And now what I'm going to do is I don't want this hinge back here because it makes my paper thicker. Okay. And having a hinge go around the back of the paper, especially a watercolor paper, you do run the risk of transferring foil there because of the, of the pressure and it's so, so thick, right? So what you're gonna wanna do is undo your hinge and you can leave the hinge there for the paper, like to keep it, you know, hinged to the paper. Just don't put it around the back, okay? So there's nowhere else for me to hinge this. So let's just put another piece right there. Okay, so I'm good with that. And now you can't see it, but my machine, I've got a, um, a tote, a rolling bar cart from Ikea. Not like the, the, the card and scrapbook ones, not like the Michaels one. They have a really nice bar cart and it's only a tad bigger, but it's cheaper. It's like $30 in Canada compared to $50 for one of the, scrapbooking card making ones like why because it's in the card making world is it more money i'll never know but anyway um yeah so have a look at ikea next time you're there and look for the bar cart because it's wider a lot more things fit in there it's not rounded so i got you know rectangle baskets all beside each other they fit in because this is a rectangle i absolutely love it i didn't push my button so i'm gonna have to guess that in about 20 seconds it's going to be done hopefully i don't overfoil because i wasn't paying attention overfoiling happens because you leave it on there too long so if you find that you are peeling and the foil is not transferring you're overfoiling or <clears throat> you're peeling and you've got foil all over your cardstock you're overfoiling so um take it off let it get cool your your plate let it be cool and then put it back on, press the button, and when that green light stops blinking, get it in your machine, okay? So don't overfoil. It's kind of like overthinking. I saw something on Instagram and I was it was quite satisfying because they're like, it's not called overthinking. You just blah, 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 blah. I'm like, that is totally me, okay? So I'm not an overthinker, I'm a whatever this woman said. I can't remember what it was, but it was kind of cool. So now, there we go. So we got a little foil in there and I just love, actually, you know what? I'm going to show you the other card when we're done. I like this one better. And this is the, um, I don't remember the name of it. Let me grab the spool and tell you because it came out of my scraps bin. Oh, I'm out of that one. Let me look in my overflow shoe box because I want to give you the name of it. So let's see. I can't be, oh, I'm not out of it. No, I'm not. It's in a class, but, oh my Lord. Okay, it's in one of the class ones here. Bear with me, I'll tell you which one it is, because it matches perfectly. It's in this class right here. It's called, you didn't write on it. <laughs> It's the one that looks like it's like coppery, chocolatey something. Dang. And I didn't write on it. I almost wonder if it's Spellbinders. It's got to be. You don't have this one, right, Heather? I... I might, but I don't know where it is. That didn't sound very... Oh, here, I'm asking somebody who's in the, the middle of a move. It's so funny. I said to Todd today at dinner, I'm like... The home and garden shows here again, and I 
can't go. He's like, well, why don't you call Heather? I'm like, because Heather's moving. She can't go. But anyway, I really like the way that looks. So let's do some splatter for those that don't foil. And if you don't foil, you could also, just an idea, take your Zig 2A glue, come in, and just do random, do some big dots, some little dots, randomly everywhere. When you can't see the blue anymore, that's the perfect time. It's tacky. Put your gilding flakes on there. Oh, that would be so pretty. All right, so let's see. I have a copper ray here. This is PP, Perfect Pearls. So the Perfect Pearls copper mixed in with the heat protectant spray. And it is this one. Um, that's what it looks like. It doesn't have the name on it because this one came in the set. There was like three of them with a brush and everything, but it's the copper looking one. So mix it with your heat protectant spray. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, I'm going to put an end card up. If you're watching the replay, uh, there will be end cards from now on. And I will put the sprays and splatters at the end of the video. So let's take our mat out of there and we'll just come in. And I'm not going to do as much as you might do because I already have foiling here. So I'm just trying to focus on this area. I'm upside down. I would have gone the other way, but that's okay. I can still, there we go. That's enough. I don't need a whole lot because I already have the foiling, right? So that's how easy it is. Shake it up. You got your heat protectant spray in there. And the heat protectant spray is because it doesn't gum it up if you want to use it as a sprayer. I don't use it as a sprayer, but um, I find that the heat protectant spray gives me what I need to keep it on the cardstock. So I like it. You can use, uh, I think, water. What it, I don't know. Somebody told me what Jennifer McGuire said about Perfect Pearls staying on the paper, and I can't remember what they said now. But we're going to give this a sec before I flip it over because I want to put some glue on here. And I guess that waving motion is kind of probably a little bit annoying. Oh, there's my glue right here. Okay, so let's put some glue. Miss Claude, she's like fawning after me here. Oh, the camera's got moved now. There she is. She's fawning. I don't know that she's feeling 100% after being sick. She was sick a few weeks ago too. I had to make her some rice and some eggs, boil some chicken. I don't know why we boil it. You boil out all the good stuff, but give her just some basic, basic grains. And she can't even keep her eyes open. She's so sleepy. <laughs> okay. I'm going to wave it a little bit. Let it get a little tacky. Now this is open, so guess what? I put glue everywhere, so glue is gonna wanna ex be exposed there. You could, if you wanted to, take this right now, let that get tacky. Take this and put it on your card front. There's a there's an idea, and then I don't have to worry. You don't wanna go too far into the, oh, you're going onto the card card. Yeah, I'm gonna go right onto our card I base. You, I got you. I hate on to the card base and I happen to already have scored and cut and folded and thank you past Cindy Lynn for doing that. I was getting my nails done today and I thought, why am I getting white? Tonight I'm doing mixed media. Well, not mixed media really. I'm just doing on the, on the mixed media night next month. It'll be mixed media, but nevertheless, it's just, it's just distress oxides, but you know, inky fingers, right? And my nails are still relatively white. I'll have to give them a polish tomorrow, I'm sure. But there we go. Now this should go on here. No problema. I'm not forgetting anything. Nope. So now we'll line this up. I mean, and look at this coming together, masculine card, right? We're going to run a couple minutes over, but that's okay. There we go. Now our sentiment is nice and dry. And it's very, very, very black because we sprayed it. So like I said, water totally works there, okay? Oh, grapefruit juice. 
I did a Instacart order from Superstore. And if you're in America, our Superstore is like your Fred Meyer, if you know what that is, if you have one near you or you've heard of them. But anyhow, they have the best grapefruit juice. I just love it. Mm. And I ordered grapefruits. I hate it. I hate it when my grapefruits are the size of oranges. I want grapefruits the size of cantaloupes. Ruby reds, please. Alrighty, so let's get this in. If you're on high blood pressure medication, no grapefruit. Very bad. Bad, bad, bad. Bad, bad, bad. So, here's the one I did earlier today. And this has gold splatter. Okay, here's the one I did today. And this one has copper, okay? But look at that. I think my sentiment's a little bit crooked. Hold on. That looks better. We're the perfect blend. So, a little bit lighter on this one. And on this one, I did go in, and I'll show you what I did. And you can do this on this one if you wanted to. And even though the card is done, you can still do it. Don't worry. We'll just stick this here. But you can go in. Actually, I'm going to do it this way. Spray some water in your hand and just kind of, I'll spray a little bit more. Let it kind of come out in drops. Or you can do this. I find that I don't get those big drops, though, when I do it that way. Spray it in my hand. Let those big drops come out. And then take your paper towel. Give it a second. These ones have been on here a while. I'll take those off but you can just go in and then as you can see, let me take them all off. It just gives you these water splotches, you know what I mean? Which always looks kind of cool. So I like that. And I, the card was already on there. No big deal, right? So sometimes if you forget something, it's not a big deal. You can get it on there. So for this card, one of you lucky, awesome, amazing inky friends is gonna get this card. The question, and you cannot answer the question until you see Heather type go, okay? Make sure you're on live chat, up at the top of the chat. It'll say top chat, live chat. Has to be live chat because then you see the proper sequence that people are typing in, okay? Um, turn your card counterclockwise. I, was, I wasn't sure what that I think maybe in your splatter box. I'm not sure. Oh, I don't know what Chris meant. See, uh, Chris could talk to me and say what she meant if it was an Inky Bestie event. Because in an Inky Bestie event, I get to hear you guys talking. So I get to hear all of your ideas and suggestions. And you should see so many ideas are born. And there are times, like, you guys come to see me, but there are times where I'm like, eh, and I get an idea from a bestie and these girls, they have some good ideas and we, we, we put together some pretty cool cards. So the question, when you see Heather say go type the answer. Or do we want to remind, make sure you're subscribed? Yes. You can't, you can't chat. Right. I don't want to see you typing and go, why can't I talk? Because you have to be subscribed. Hello, Jamie. Thank you. I know some people do, but I never complain if someone runs over sharing their creativity with us. Good. Okay, awesome, because we're eight minutes over. So the question for tonight, I don't even have the heart to pick her up because I think she's not feeling so good. Let me switch to this screen. Oops! Wait! Okay. How was that playing? That's bizarre. Anyway, the question is... And spelling doesn't matter, okay? When you see Heather say go, answer the question, what is Chloe's favorite movie? <laughs> we got some Jeopardy music in the house. Okay, let's see. Drum roll. Oh, I need a drum roll. I got to write down drum roll. Oh, I can't write down. That's the only thing about this acrylic thing now. I can't write on my table. Okay, drum roll. I got to get a drum roll thingy. Mary, 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 Beverly Hills, cha wa wa 
<laughs> Mary was the first one to type it out. Cheryl right behind her, followed by Brenda. Chris was almost there. Dang video is all a mess. I see go and haven't heard a question. Oh no, <laughs> poor Alicia. Well, hopefully next week you can try again. Wilma's right down there too. Guys, got to be a little quicker than Mary. Mary, please fill out a winner's form and type in the We Are the Perfect Blend card. Congratulations. I'm going to let Heather say goodnight. But before you run away, don't forget, I'm going to put an end card up, okay, so that you guys have other videos you can watch. Say goodnight, everyone. Goodnight, take care, and happy stamping. Mm -hmm.